So hello everybody, welcome back. Today I've got a special treat for you because I've installed my Wii. Even though we're going to play a GameCube game. And in case you haven't read the title, the game is... Hang on. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. One of the best Sonic games around. Everybody cheer you. Oh my kidding, you've all seen it. That doesn't make any less of a game. Why am I talking so quick? I don't know. I'll s <laughs> it's the excitement it's getting to me. Of course, like any Sonic game, this introduced what another awesome song. Live and learn. You do not like a Sonic song, you must be insane. Press start. We will. Ooh, it's... Hmm. Don't know, this, one, this memory card of mine has problems. Uh, we could see if I can get lucky with it. I can always copy it if I feel I need to. Oh, by the way, if you want to play GameCube games, you need a, a GameCube controller. Luckily, I had one lying around. I do have a second one somewhere, so I might even show you some two-player battles. But for now, we're just going to stick to the one-player mode. You get your choice of hero or dark. And we're going to play with the hero story first. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog board. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. <laughs> what? Then the Hedgehog is over. gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and. What's wrong? What in the Come world? Here. Over. Please! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if that intro on Flow and Sonic Riders. Yeah, I think we actually got a Sonic Riders game just from that one cutscene there of Sonic just riding off part of the plane. As for destroying cars, um, I don't know, I just, Pyme always just like doing it. You know, just see how much destruction you can cause while you're escaping from the city. Sorry my four sounds weird, it's, I've had a bit of a problem with it lately. And of course the series introduced all more Chow, who everyone considers probably the most annoying Sonic character ever made. No, I mean, yeah, it's not a character made in the video games. That's why I, I didn't say Chris. If Chris was involved, he'd be the second most annoying character in the video, in the uh, Sonic universe. Now, many consider um, this. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle will probably be the uh, last good 3D Sonic game made. I don't agree with that. I do agree that it's one of the best games made. Hold on a sec. Just need to get something up here. 
knocked on you with Sada. And this thing, for anybody that does, hasn't played this game, I feel sorry for you if you haven't, is a chow box with a chow key and you need the key for, I'll let him explain. Yeah, so basically as he said, you need these key you need what you need the key for is to uh, go to the Chow World. And you do need to find it six times, one for each character you play as. There's another one, this contains animals. Don't really care, don't plan on taking care of the Chow right now. And this was also the last game to allow people to play as Chow currently. Play it with Chow currently. Um, I would actually like that feature in reintroduced again in a Sonic game. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> well, you know, it was, a, it was a nice little mini activity you do when you've got nothing better to do. Still counts for. Oh. I'm sorry if I'm pushing too much information on people. It's just there's our third box. The third box always it always goes like this. First one, Chow Key. Second, uh, just a group of animals. And the third will have a rare animal, which is really uh, difficult to get. That's why it's called the rare animal. Now, if you crowd, it helps you slide quicker, but uh, I'm really no good at railing. My brother's a lot better at doing it than I am. Right, God, but I, I just cannot do it. And of course, my favourite part of the stage, I because it just looks awesome. Can you think of a more magic, awesome scene than the uh, Sonic running away from my big? Yeah, you probably, you probably can, but just for the, just for the sake of it, just agree with me here, please, people. I'm not gonna be, t I'm not gonna be talking like this through the whole stage. Just for like. At the start, why I I don't know. And we did it in under is that was that say three fifty yeah three fifty seven two hundred thirty in the rings not bad what's our rank what's our rank our rank is Oops, I'll go with that B's all right with me piece of cake. And of course, we always go to the Chow World after a level. Ooh. We'll drop the animals off and then we'll just leave. Like I said, I'm not going to be taking care of the Chow for now. Um. I might show you later on about looking after Chow, but for now we'll just leave it like this. We'll concentrate on doing the story mode, saving Chow data, thank you. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? And our first boss, F6 T big foot. Hmm. Now when you get some power-ups, you can defeat this boss in like no time at all. Pat yourself right, do a homing attack and lose rings. No, don't lose rings. Uh, try to avoid doing that. Yeah, like me, I just lose rings every hit. Yeah, my GameCube controller still has that same problem of making them do a homing attack. I mean, it's not a problem doing a homing attack if you do it when you want to, but uh, mine sometimes has a habit of skipping the jump and just going straight to, do, straight to doing the homing attack. No clue what's wrong with my voice today. <sighs> and since all the boxes are gone, we have no way of attacking him until he lands. So it's basically just. Keep running, keep running, owie, big foot. You got those big feet. And that's it. Hey guys, take care.
What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Now, I'm going to say this right now, I hate Knuckles and Rouge's stages, and anyone who's seen my Sonic Adventure walkthrough will know why. I just suck at them. <laughs> so basically, it's the same as in Sonic Adventure, we find our Master Emerald pieces. At least I didn't make this a common theme, that you have to search every game that has Knuckles in it looking for Master Emeralds. Try not to take too long with these stages. I know you just don't want to see me just doing this for the whole thing. So I'll try and be quick. Um, let's see where are these were they. Where this game moves quicker than I remember it doing. I don't know if it's because it's been played on the Wii off. I really just cannot remember myself playing this game. I swear, uh, God, my, con my controller still has that same problem. They kind of jump properly. I really need to get a new controller. Actually, I already had a new controller. I don't know where the heck it went for the life of me, bro. Well, as new as a GameCube controller can be, anyway. Let's just say it really doesn't help me when I'm trying to look for stuff. There's our chow key for knuckles. Yeah, picking up a piece somewhere. Green. 
Yellow. Green. Yellow. There it is. There's one stage in this game that I absolutely hate more than anything and it's one of Rouge's stages. Try and have a guess which one. Seriously, honestly, have a guess and if you get it right, I'll give you a cookie. I'll just give you a congratulations because I am um, gonna probably be able to get a cookie tears. I would try I would if I could, but you know. Picking up something. Ow. Around here, where is it? Gosh, where is it? Here it is. Yes. One more go. One more. Just one more. Master Ramos piece of making me dumb with this stage. Where wind is generated. Wind is ten yellow. Ooh, we've got yellow. There it is. And it took me four minutes. Now I plan on getting this game finished in like two days at tops because um I really want to start some other games, um the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask of two games I'm planning on doing. There's a lot of games that you plan on doing. Sonic Colors is another one. There's also a few some play PS3 games I plan on getting done. PS2, uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic, um, Dreamcast games. I like Dream, not Dreamcast, GameCube. I don't think I'll be able to get any Dreamcast games done except Sonic Adventure. And of course, uh, some Wii games. There's no mistake about it. This must be the item. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic will destroy the military building or rob the bank. It's Amy! And Eggman too! What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! Of course, Eggman is dead easy, it just keep blasting, you don't even have to bother dodging. And there, see, very easy, a very simple boss. Hey, 
even on the 14 seconds. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails! You did it! What are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic! Again? Hurry! I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay. I thought I mean, I love Tails reaction to like again. Can't you please stop getting in trouble? So yeah, Tails and Eggman basically do a gamma, you just aim and shoot. But unlike with Gamma, you actually do you don't have a time limit, so that's wonderful. If it does, like the best thing to do is just blast like crazy again until you figure out what the things what's preventing you from going in. And yeah, I am aware you can do combos, but uh. I really don't care that much of doing them. At least not right now. Maybe later on, but for now it's just random blast time. Ugh. In fact, I think this um, used the exact. I think this was that what introduced also the feature Sonic Unleashed the uh, Werewolf Life Bar thing, Werehog Life Bar. I don't plan on, I don't think I plan on doing Sonic Unleashed because I only have it for the PS2 and uh, I don't even feel like getting it for the Wii or PS3 or 360 whatever So what do you so what do I think of Sonic Adventure 2 ball yeah, yeah, I definitely say it is one of the best Sonic games made. And of course, it was the game that introduced uh, everyone's favourite anti-hero hedgehog, Shadow. Oh, but one thing I always found weird was the idea that Sonic and Shadow in this game always called each other fake, or fake hedgehog, or whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have other hedgehogs around, not just those two, so I don't get where the fake business came from. Probably because they look like each other, or at least apparently everyone in this game thinks they look like each other. I mean, I can see some resemblance, but really, yeah, you have people mixing the, the two up. I'm sorry, but you should not be mixing Sonic and Shadow up. I think I messed up here, I think I was actually supposed to jump on those No, no, you can get up with a little effort. Seriously, what was with that, Um. I don't think anybody I ever talked to would get Sonic and Shadow mixed up with each other. I mean, one's a blue hedgehog and one's a black hedgehog with red stripes all over his body. Never could I couldn't even get Metal Sonic mixed up with Sonic, let alone Shadow. Now we can't get anything else in here because we need to upgrade for some stuff. I did it. That was.
was easy. <laughs>